Hey, uh, mate, how are you today? Today we're going to take a look at a video from Down Under and, and some sovereign citizens down under. And when I say down under, I mean Australia, bloke. Hello, everybody. My name is Joe Pometto. This is the Common Sense Academy. Thank you for joining me today. We're going to take a look at a video of a sovereign citizen in Australia. I'm sorry. I love the videos that are in foreign accents other than the United States. It just makes it that much more fun. This video was already up on Van Bayon 2. We get a sovereign citizen uh, who refuses to get a breath, give a breathalyzer and he is swiftly arrested. Um, we're going to watch the video. Join me for my analysis afterwards. I'm going to talk about some of the legal aspects and just some of the the weird and uh, dumb things that he said and just how ridiculous it all is. Uh, my commentary afterwards is very fun. If you like my channel, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. Those are all free ways to support the show. Let's YouTube know you're watching and you're enjoying. Especially subscribe. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers and then I can get new features from YouTube. Also, there's an email list below. Sign up for my email list. Um, you'll get a free PDF on the history and examination of the sovereign citizen uh, movement written by yours truly. Plus, I'm going to send you some more free stuff. Now, I know everybody is a little on edge because of the coronavirus. I get it. I'm a little bit on edge too. But you know who isn't on edge? Jeff Bezos because he's a billionaire and because right now I imagine Amazon is cleaning it up, okay? Well, guess what? Uh, you should be ordering stuff off Amazon. I know I am. And if you want to order some great coffee off of Amazon, I suggest going with Black Rifle Coffee. As an Amazon affiliate, I have a link below. I profit from any purchases that you make of Black Rifle Coffee Company. Black Rifle is some terrific coffee. What I like about it is they are veteran owned. I'm a veteran. Any proceeds that they get, a percentage of it goes to veterans causes. Order this off Amazon while you are quarantined in your home away from coronavirus. Okay, a little longer introduction than usual. Let's get to the same time set. I have here my Black Rifle Coffee Company. I love coffee. Ah, oh, I love the smell. I love the smell in the morning. Coffee and bacon, it doesn't get any better than that. Raise your cup in the air. Cheers. Kampai. I don't know what they say in China. Um, but raise your cup in the air. Cheers. Let's do a same time sip. It tastes better when we sip together. Ah, delicious. Now let's watch this video. No, thanks. No, thanks. Just run my breath out. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Just do a breath test if you're doing operating a vehicle. I don't consent. I'll just tell them that. Okay, you need to do a breath test. No, thanks. See ya. Hang on. There it is. If you're driving a vehicle, you're required to your phone if you're operating a vehicle, you need to do a breath test. Who are you? Who are you? Yeah, Victoria Police Corporation. No contract with you. No contract here. All rights are reserved. Cease and desist immediately from unsolicited commercial contracts. Okay? Cease and desist. What's the matter, man? I'm not contracting. You're not? I'm sorry? I'm not contracting. All rights are reserved. Your Victoria Police Corporation. Your Victoria Police Corporation. Refuse. Both are, both are refused. If you arrest me, I'm going to sue you. If you arrest me, I'm going to sue you. I've been in this job for 26 years. Do you have any idea how this one If you arrest me, you're going to sue me. Can you please turn your car off? Okay. Don't, don't touch me. Do not touch my property. Please provide Cease. No, thank you. Cease and desist. Alright. Okay. Get the hot out, okay? You're under arrest. What for? Because you didn't provide your driver's license. What's the crime? Mate, What's I've crime? 26 years. Do you have any idea how many times blokes have tried this? What's crime? Can you return my property? I no, thank you. Return my property. 
Okay, you're under arrest. Your time you failed to provide your driver's license as you're required to do under the roadside. I refuse. Act. You're under arrest. That's fine. I refuse. Okay, we're going to now escort you out of the car. You're blocking all the traffic. I refuse. Well, it's Friday night. Do you really want to do this on a Friday night? I refuse. Oh. Okay, you're holding up the traffic. So I refuse. We're going to put on you. I refuse. That's fine. You're allowed to do that. Sorry. We're going to mm -hmm. sort it out back at the St Kilda Police mm -hmm. Station. No, thank you. We're going to grab this guy. Yeah, yeah we're gonna, come on. We're going to get sued. Right. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> You're all going to get sued. No, no, I'm not moving. Have a drink first, though. Why would you do this? Why are you, you doing? Is, all you got to do is blow into the. Hey, mate. Hey, mate. No contract. I didn't. Con I didn't contract with your corporation. Hey, mate. I know my Australian accent is terrible. I can usually get pretty good at accents if I watch something in the accent for like 30 minutes and it's in my mind and then boom, I can pop it out. So this guy looks like he's getting pulled over for a, a breathalyzer stop in Australia. Interesting fact that we learned from one of my Australian friends in another video I did about Australia is that um, they can stop you, police checkpoints in Australia, in Australia excuse me, They'll stop you and they breathalyze literally everyone in the United States. They can't just breathalyze everyone. They can stop you, but then they need to observe some signs of intoxication before they can then ask you for your breath in Australia. Anybody who drives through the breast stop gets breathalyzed. That may have been what happening with this guy or he may have got pulled over, but I, I think it was a... A field sobriety, it was a, a checkpoint, a DUI checkpoint. He says right at the beginning, he says, no thanks, no thanks to the officer who's asking him to give the breathalyzer as if, as if uh, they're just going to go away when you say no thanks. He then says, see ya, see ya, yeah, those are magic words, bye-bye, bye-bye, they're just going to go away. He tries putting his window up, he says, who are you, who are you? Okay, now now he thinks he's setting the officer up, and and uh, she identifies herself as being with the Victoria Police, and he says the Victoria Police Corporation. Uh oh, buddy. Okay, now you're creating that distance. Now your magic is gonna work. There's no contract here. There's no contract here, dude. Let me tell you, it doesn't. You don't need a contract with the police for the police to enforce the laws. All right, you don't need a contract with them. I'm sorry, it doesn't work that way. If you want a contract for everything let me tell you something get your car off that road you didn't contract with the person that built that road okay you didn't contract with all the public services that you use he then says cease and desist all rights and reserve as if he's reading the fine print on the terms and conditions of a product that he just bought off of Amazon I mean come on bro you can't just you can't just read the disclaimer of a contract to a cop and think that they're gonna go away um, then he says, what for? What for? What's the crime? What's the crime? Your particular crime, sir, is not being particularly smart. Uh, then the officer says, 26 years. You know how many times people have tried this? I can only imagine, sir. I can only imagine. Please tell me your experiences. Tell me your experiences. He then repeats, I refuse. I refuse. I think this guy was drunk. Okay. I think he was drunk. That's just my, uh, that's my takeaway from the way he was talking and his level of confidence, etc. Then at one point he says he's going to get sued and the cop says, that's fine. <laughs> I like, That's a perfect response for a cop. Like, fine, go ahead, sue me. Look, that's what you should do, all right? If you believe you're being illegally arrested or they're violating your civil rights, comply with the police in the moment. Go get a lawyer, get out of jail, sue them later. You probably won't even sit in jail for very long. Um... Then he says, I have to have a drink first before he gets out of the car and we see him take a drink. I'm just wondering if that drink's got a little bit of liquor in it. He just wants that, that, that final hit before he goes and sits in a cell and sleeps it off. Um, and then the officer, right before the video's cut off, and I didn't cut off the video. This is how the video came. says, all you got to do is blow into the, and then it gets cut off. So I can feel for these officers dealing with these people. It's just, it's kind of hilarious, but it's also got to be frustrating at the same time. Like I said, the only thing sovereign citizens ever get right is when they say that they do not consent. That's smart. That's what you should do. You shouldn't consent. But oh my gosh, everything else that they quote is just absolute nonsense pulling off of some nonsense uh 
website or some stupid sovereign citizen book. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But hey, this was fun because this was in an Australian accent. I know my Australian accent is terrible, but I do like the word bloke. So everybody stay safe. Stay safe from the coronavirus. Take some precautions. Uh, and what you should do is stay in and watch my videos over and over and over again. Thank you for joining Common Sense Academy. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. Cheers. Get some Black Rifle for you too. Common Sense Academy out.